Hey guys, Armagon here with a fresh, fun one for you guys. We're talking today about the five most OP guns that I can think of, at least ones that I have. Uh, so buckle in, let's get gun pilled with another episode of Gun Education. Uh, question of the day, what is the most ridiculous gun you just want to take to the range and have fun with? Comment below, think about it, comment below. I'll give you my answer uh, in the video. Most of you will probably have never heard of it. I myself didn't hear about it until this morning. All right, guys, so the way this is going to work today, I have five guns for you from five distinct categories. A handgun, a shotgun, a SMG, an assault rifle. Don't be triggered. It's okay. And finally, a sniper rifle. One from each category, and I pick the most ridiculously overdone one um, that I have. So, starting over here in uh, the safe with my friend, the Desert Eagle. This thing is wild. 50 caliber, 50 AE in a handgun. Um, it's crazy. It's awesome. Uh, it's also case hardened finish. It's beautiful. Thank you again to my friends Brett and Jody over at Manning Research and BFR and the custom shop that did up this rank muzzle brake to help tame the crazy recoil of 50 AE. Honestly, it wasn't about taming it. It was just about making the gun look even more OP, which it definitely is. I got a cycle for you guys. This thing. Oh, this thing is cool. Mag release. Slide release, just wild. Selector is up here, that would be safe. Red for dead, nice trigger. And there are your beefy sights. Next up, how about a shotgun, but triple barrel. Three barrels and it's short, 12 inch barrels. <sighs> this thing is this thing is so much fun. Ah, super fun range toy, man. And actually, come up kind of practical. It's very, it's very quick to, to get up. It's pretty, you know, small overall ish. There is also a cut stock you can get for them, so it's kind of just like a little pistol-y grip. Then at that point, also very OP. But you might consider it a pistol at that point. Not sure. Anyways, I cut the full stock, and this was the shotgun submission. No, it doesn't fire all three at once. That would be. That'd be really cool, honestly. You do get by that on uh, double barrel shotguns, however. Um, clear, because they have two separate triggers for two separate barrels. And I can tell you from personal experience, doing that, <laughs> that's a, a lot of fun. Anyways, three rounds, you actually can go bang, 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 as, kind of as fast as you can. And actually, yeah, surprisingly effective and fun. Next up, we have our SMG, which uh, you're going to be mad at me for, because we're taking this guy right here, and you're going to say, that's not an SMG, that's just an MG. And you're not wrong, but I've also got a point to this as well. So, why do I consider the Crink, little Crinky boy, the most OP subgun? Well, fun story, in Soviet Russia, Sorry, that was terrible. Um, they used to use the PPSH-41 and then the PPS-43. Those were the de facto subguns. But as time went on, they started to kind of just use the AK-47 or the AKM and then the AK-74 as their primary fighting rifles. Then this little guy came along, the AKS-74U. S standing for side folding, U standing for uber short. And this filled the role in their military, at least, as a submachine gun. So no, it does not take sub-caliber, you know, pistol rounds. It does take full rifle rounds, 545 by 39, but I'm kind of going on this based on the fact that it was used to take the place of a submachine gun in their, in their roles, um, rather than technically being a submachine gun. Lots of books out there do refer to this thing as a submachine gun, but there are arguments both ways. So just for you guys out there, I picked a second runner-up. Also, there was a more OP version of this, uh, Serbia, Zastava, they made this little guy, but in 762 by 39 So, same small package, but uh, even more OP, called the M92. Google it. For all of you guys who are currently whining about that choice, I have one thing to say to you. Keep the change, you filthy animal. <laughs> guys, the most OP, clearly, was the OG, the Thompson SMG, where the term submachine gun even actually came from. Um, that's pretty cool. You see it right there? Really cool. So this 
is the OG gangster model. And uh, we got a hundred rounds on tap. So with this guy, just clamp this guy under your armpit and water the garden. Man, that is one I particularly cannot wait to get on the range for you guys. Hopefully as soon as next year, we will uh, maybe do some watering of the garden on the new ranch once, assuming that it goes through, fingers crossed. Now for assault rifles, let's kick things up a bit. You guys have seen this guy before, the Icarus to all the modern warfare fanboys out there. This is the Fight Light MCR, formerly known as the Ares Strike. And yes, it is real and it is quite the deal. Now, if a M4 machine gun isn't enough to just be OP on its own, it's pretty good, but I mean, you know, it's, it's just, it's pretty, pretty status quo. Even with a cool changing barrel, piston driven, all that good stuff, EOTech, no, you can do better. And what truly makes this guy OP is uh, not that it feeds from mags, but that you can literally go balls deep with a nut sack uh, in this thing. I'm not gonna lie, this is actually nicknamed for these things is nut sack. This little beauty is belt fed. And take a chill pill, these are all fakes up here. So basically just load that guy in, slap this down, and uh, you are ready to roll. How ridiculously rank is that? A super portable M4 based squad automatic weapon. And this saw is ready to cut down some trees. Man, that's a cool gun. Now next, the old sniper rifle. Well, we have one candidate here and then I'm gonna top it off with a second. Let's pick that guy up and uh, check her out. Guys, this is the Galatz. It's a Galil, um, but it's a sniper Galil. So it's called the Galatz. Everything about this is just so thick. This is a thick chonk beast and I love it. Huge barrel. Huge compensator, muzzle break at the end. Um, 25 rounds on tap. It's it's unreal. It's also very heavy, but man, she's pretty glorious. There's AKs and then there's Galils. Ooh, very nice trigger. Now some of you guys will say this is a DMR and sure it can be used as a DMR but it's also used as a sniper. So um, very cool and pretty OP, but not as OP as this next guy, which is literally the father of the M200 intervention. Yeah, you can see where I'm going with this. Look at this unit. This is a 50 BMG bolt action sniper rifle takedown as well. You can take this down and fit it into a suitcase. That's what's really cool about it. So a little more stripped down, a little more Simplistic than the M200, but uh, what a beautiful gun. Has a telescoping PDW style almost stock, meant to make it again very collapsible to take it down. This honking huge barrel. Look at that break, man. Gorgeous flutes and uh, a big old barrel down on here that ratchets down and snugs that guy up. A little stubby bipod. Man, I just, uh, I love this thing forever and it's so cool that it takes down and goes into a suitcase. So I'll show you that sometime. But for now, just appreciate how freaking cool that thing is. Bill Ritchie, I wish you were still here with us because you designed some cool guns. Anyways, guys, I had fun with this. This was a good time. Um, random idea just popped in my head to do a top five of the most OP guns. So following up to the question of the day, which would mine be? Well, if you don't already, you definitely should follow Forgotten Weapons. Ian McCullum over there, he is a resource, a wealth of knowledge, and I learned a ton from him as well but he recently covered the Frommer 1917 um, prototype little LMG that they designed, but it is really unique. Anyways, this gun, Frommer here, made by the Austro-Hungarians, oh, it would be so cool, but firing 32 ACP, it would just have no range and be pretty useless on the battlefield. So for me, that would be the ultimate range toy. Um, for me on this Sunday, I would, uh, yeah, that, I would, if I had it, that's what I would take up to the range right now. Yeah, comment below and tell me what one you would want to take. And I'm getting very close to realizing my own dream of having my own range on my own ranch. Just a little shy on funds. If you guys want to help support, check out Bunker Branding. My merch is going to be dropping there shortly. Super cool stuff. And with that, I'll catch you in the next one. Armored Gun, out. Boom diggity.